Hello, Froggy here, and this is the Quantum Sparrow, a general purpose wall breach and box break. So to use this glitch, you first need to set up a Quantum Sparrow, and to do that, you need to have a long load zone. So we can get a long load here by uh, jumping up on this side and uh, walking to this corner here and we're just going to drop forwards on the other side. Now we summon the sparrow, boost into load and get off. Sometimes get that double load thing, but you'll notice that the sparrow is now floating and indestructible and when you get on it, you can't move. This means that it's working. You're going to need to have someone else be your eyes. So I'm watching my buddy stream and positioning the sparrow right in front of this bus here. Once that's done, I simply get off the sparrow. If my ally is looking at it, it'll teleport over there. That's where the quantum in the name comes from. So now I can go over, get on the sparrow, get off, and go straight through the bus. This works on all walls, all barriers, everything. But what about the box break? So here I am on the strand in the Dreaming City, having come directly from the diving board. It's very easy to get a long load here. Generally what you're looking for is approaching the load from an unusual direction or otherwise skipping the preload regions. Just gotta boost into here and get off. And make sure that I hit the load as well. And if all goes according to plan, I should once again have a Quantum Sparrow. One of the handy things about the Quantum Sparrow is that it can in fact transition loads. We're going to be taking it over to the Bay of Drowned Wishes. You see dragons here will be acting as my eyes this time. I'm going to go ahead and jump on and head on over. One little quirk to keep in mind is that everyone in the zone is acting as an observer. Anyone who enters the zone fresh will see your sparrow where you got onto it. It's handy for resetting, but if someone else in the zone happens to be the primary observer when you get off, your sparrow could be teleported basically anywhere. You can see as soon as I jump back off, I zip back to where I was on dragon screen. And now I just have to run back over. You don't want to summon your sparrow now, because of course that will delete the quantum sparrow. I'm going to keep going until we get the sparrow into the hub zone. If you are unfamiliar with what the hub zone is, it's the area in between two map regions which exists in both zones. Objects inside of it can exist in both regions in some sense, which is more easily seen in a private to private transition. This one's a public to private transition. So. I'm just getting on my spare here just to make sure I have ownership of it. And hitting the load. As you can see, the sparrow came with me, and I'm just gonna check and make sure it is still acting as expected. And now we're good to move it forwards. Now let's take a look at how the teleporting works. I'm just going to go ahead and move this sparrow over a short ways. Generally you'll want to avoid things like shallow water because that can block the ability to ride on the sparrow later. Once you're in position, you're going to want your observer to look away. Once that happens, you can get off the sparrow and then let the observer know when to look back. Once they do, you want to rapidly get on the sparrow and you should teleport with it. As you can see, I am now fully in the other location. Now let's see how that goes on a larger scale. Dragons is looking away with the map up. The clone of the sparrow that I am moving on his screen 
is not affected by barriers, so I can drive straight through the edge of the box. The cursor on the map there is marking a location that's safe to stop at. So I'm just using the map to navigate. There we go. Now we can start to try the teleport. And I'm just gonna hop off the spare while the observer looks away. And back on when he looks back. If you get the timing wrong, you won't teleport with it. But you will keep the sparrow, as long as you don't get on too late. It's possible that looking at the sparrow will keep it where you see it. So it can be useful to point away. Plus I can see when Dragons turns around. And there we go, an easy teleport. This puts us back in familiar territory. You may remember this turn back from the Liars launch video. All that's left now is to head to the Ascendant Challenge. That'll pretty much cover the topic for the Quantum Sparrow, but since I'm out here I might as well go the rest of the way. There is of course also a funnel into the Bay of Drown which is Ascendant Challenge, so might be able to use the wall breach from the Quantum Sparrow to get here as well. We've actually known about the Quantum Sparrow glitch for quite a while. Originally, Gambot posted about a weird indestructible sparrow that caused to desyncs on the uh, Raid Secrets Discord. After a bit of experimenting with it, we were able to figure out these other exciting properties. We didn't end up spreading it around too much because there were two other box breaks discovered around the same time and it made sense to keep one in reserve in case the others got patched. Dropbox was a lot quicker to use than Quantum Sparrow is and IRB is limited to areas that we have auto reses for the most part. The first guide I made about this glitch talked about how you can combine it with Dropbox for even easier teleports. I'll give the link to that in the description. Hopefully you'll get as much enjoyment out of the Quantum Sparrow as I have. It is a rather interesting bug. We'll once again be able to visit many of the areas that we were able to with Dropbox. Plus the wall breach aspect gets us into other areas that Dropbox couldn't really, like the Niobe yeah. Lambs puzzle. I look forward to seeing what everyone can come up with, and good luck exploring.